studying archaeology, I found more and more that I was interested in the belief systems of ancient peoples, what they thought about the world and how their worlds were different to our worlds. And I discovered that it's quite difficult to explain those sorts of things without talking about religion. My academic area is international security studies now, and that really came about unfortunately because of the September 11 terrorist attacks and an acknowledgement in security and in international relations that you need to understand religion to understand why people act the way they do and how best to meet and address those sorts of security problems. Understanding art and understanding beauty in different cultures is really important when you try to build bridges and try to create uh, understanding between different civilizations. Traditional art forms in a lot of societies are by definition religious. Modern art, even though it's very plural, often draws on similar symbols, similar ideas and similar tensions that religious art does. The Art Gallery of New South Wales has really what is the premier collection of Asian art in the state, if not in the nation. It's a, a great teaching tool, it's a great vehicle for understanding comparative religion. The series that I'm giving at the Art Gallery right now, for God's sake, will continue in the future. There'll be new religious worlds to explore and artistic worlds to discover. And it's a lot of fun telling these stories about the breadth and the depth of the human experience. So I really hope that you join me in these series uh, for a lot of fun at the Art Gallery of New South Wales.